Now, I'm not somebody who wants to over rely on animations in order to make a website look nice, but there is something about this little fade in up effect that can really class up a page and just give it a nice little touch. Of course, there are plugins and entire JavaScript libraries that allow you to do all kinds of fancy animations like this. But for me, I just wanted to keep it simple. I wanted an easy way to just add a class to an element and have this one animation effect. There's no reason to bloat out my site with a bunch of extra JavaScript that I'm never going to use. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that with practically no performance implications. So the first thing we need to do is go into the generate press elements area and we're going to add a new element. For our element type, we're going to choose hook and we can hit create. I've gone ahead and given this the name of animate.js. You can call it whatever you'd like. And I've pasted in all the JavaScript here. Of course, I'll give you all that JavaScript down in the video description below. We are going to use JavaScript here to target our elements as they enter the viewport. But unlike entire plugins or JavaScript libraries, this small snippet does just what we need and nothing else. Now down here in the settings, I've set this hook to be at my WP underscore footer, which will load it further on down the tree. And under the display rules, I've set the location to entire site because I want to be able to use this animation anywhere on my website. We'll go ahead and update those changes. And now we can add the little bit of CSS we need. Here inside the customizer, I've gone ahead and pasted the CSS that handles this one animation. I just simply called it animate because it would be easy for me to remember and I would know exactly what to use on every element I want to animate. Now it's important we wrap this in a prefers reduced motion media query. That will just make sure that anybody who has those preferences set won't be affected by these animations. And then at the bottom of this CSS, I'm just disabling those effects from taking effect inside of the editor where they might be a little bit more distracting. Once you have that added into your additional CSS, we can go add this animate class to any of the elements on our page. Here in the editor, we can decide what things we want to make animate. I think the first thing I'm going to do is this inner container that wraps all of this content. Now all I need to do is add the animate class to that element, and we can go through the rest of the page. Here I think I'll have all three of these boxes animate in at the same time. We'll go ahead and add the animate class there. Now in our CTA, I think I want the whole black section to animate as well. So I'm going to grab that entire section, add the animate class, and now we can go down to our testimonial here. I think I'll go with that inner wrapper again. So I'm going to go ahead and add the animate class to it. And now we can save our changes and go preview it on the front end. And just like that, we can see everything animating exactly as we anticipated it. Our CTA section comes in there nicely, followed by our testimonial at the bottom. Hopefully a simple lightweight implementation is helpful for you too. Make sure to grab all the code down in the video description below.